So, um, hello, welcome uh, to uh, Lincoln Shorts. I'm Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for uh, Lincoln Network. I have with me Belinda Harris Ritter, um, who is a member of the Elections State Board of Elections Commissioners. <laughs> Hope I said that correctly. Um, yeah. So, uh, what uh, what Belinda and I wanted to do is to go over a, a few situations where voters could find themselves in. So the first of those that we wanted to talk about, um, well, we could talk about a couple, but the first that came to mind uh, for me was uh, uh, closer to home because I'm in California, that recently there was uh, some congestion in uh, voting uh, polling centers, excuse me, vote, voting centers, um, which are essentially uh, um, places where anybody in the county can vote. Um, I'm not sure if you have that situation in uh, Arkansas. Um, do you have any? Do. You do. do. So it, a mix. It, excellent. So if I was a voter and um, I arrived to a voting center, um, one of many in my county that I could vote at any of them, um, assuming that's the case, it's generally the definition of a voting center. Yes. And they would need to look up my registration information at that location. But if I was to arrive and there was a long line, um, what would I do? What would be, you know, what would be my first steps and uh, who would I go to, um, you know, would I just stay in the line or, you know, what would be my, my next steps? Well, if it were me and I got there and there were a long line, I wouldn't want to stand in that long line. So I would want to take out my trusty um, phone that I always have with me <laughs> and call the county um, election board and say, hey, I'm at such and such a voting center and the line is really long here. Are there other voting centers where there are no lines right now or there's a short line? And they would be able to tell me, well, it would do two things. They would be able to tell me if there was another place I could go to to take less time for voting and it would let them know, hey, there's a problem at your voting center, which they might not know, depending on whether anybody from inside on the staff had called them yet or not. Excellent. Once they find out that there's a problem there, if it's, uh, sometimes they can send additional machines to a place and have those set up pretty quickly to help um, ease the congestion, or they can um, divert people to other voting centers, like they would do me with my phone call. Now, how would I, as a voter, find that information? Would I just do a search, or is there um, a particular um, uh, commonly uh, used website, um, you know, the, the information somebody could just type in and, and uh, kind of shorthand it instead of having to go through search? What would, how would I find that? Well. Um, in my state, and I think it's probably similar in other states, the county, each county um, election board has a website that you can go to, but it might be even faster to just go to the Secretary of State's website mm. and get your county information from that website. They should be able to direct you um, with information on exactly where your polling place is, and um, if they have, if your county has moved to vote centers, then it would tell you that, I believe, as well. So by going to the Secretary of State, you could then move down to the county level information. Excellent. The count, the Secretary of State won't have information on, except for if you go to your specific polling place, who all the candidates are um, statewide, but they will be able to give you or hook you up to a link that takes you to your county level that allows you to find out exactly who's on your ballot and where you can vote, and hopefully the days and times for early voting um, as well. Excellent. So um, the the countrywide um, uh, or national, if you will, um, uh, abbreviation for that generally would be uh, SOS dot your abbreviation. So in your case, it'd be SOS dot AR dot GOV. Is that correct? Or would it be some something after that, do you think? 
or, or what I would do, and and what I do use when I go to the Secretary of State's website, I Google Arkansas Secretary of State. Got it. And it will pull it up and it will even give me the sections within the Secretary of State's office, so I can go directly to elections. And Excellent. I'm guessing that would work. Excellent. Okay. And if you have if you have federal questions where you want to understand more about what's going on in various states, there's the Election Assistance Commission in the Washington, D.C. area, and you could simply Google Election Assistance Commission and come up with their um, contact information. Excellent. And they know more about the differences of different states. No, that's, that's excellent advice. Thank you, Belinda. Okay, well, this has been uh, Lincoln Shorts. Thank you for your time. Uh